Shocking news from Los Angeles tonight. NBC News has confirmed pop superstar Michael Jackson is dead at the age of 50. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Good evening. Every American generation has its icons in the world of entertainment. Michael Jackson has been one of the best-known stars on this planet for the last several decades. On this night, when we were preparing a remembrance of Farrah Fawcett, suddenly word arrived from Southern California that Jackson had been rushed to the hospital. There were grave reports about his condition. And now this, confirmation tonight that he has died. A lot will be said about Michael Jackson as we learn more about this story. He was incredibly talented, a child star who was an adult with deeply troubles, deep troubles and physical and mental health issues. We'll begin our coverage of this still-breaking story with Lester Holt here with me in our New York studios. Again, Lester, this came first confirmation, L.A. Times, then Associated Press, and now NBC News is confirming this word. And they've been reporting all afternoon about the sequence of events, apparently about 12.30, Brian, Pacific Time, 3.36 uh, Eastern Time. Uh, the, uh, L.A. City Fire Department paramedics responded to the Bel Air Mansion where Michael Jackson had been staying. He'd been rehearsing for a series of concerts set to begin, a comeback concert. Concerts in London and July. Uh, the paramedics got to the residence, found him. Apparently, there was no pulse. He was not breathing. They administered uh, CPR at the scene, then took him about six minutes away to what you're looking at now. This is the UCLA Medical Center in nearby Westwood. Uh, some family had begun to gather there. The press, of course, gathered. And then we learned just a short time ago in these uh, latest reports that uh, Michael Jackson uh, did die. Apparently, he never regained consciousness. They were not able to uh, reestablish a pulse. Uh, uh, these, uh, this mansion he was staying at in Bel Air apparently had been rented in preparation for this comeback concert. We learned in March when they announced that concert that questions had come up about his health at the time. The promoter said he had undergone a four and a half hour battery of physical tests and he had checked out okay at the time, Brian. He was apparently, according to one report, working out with the bodybuilder Lou Ferrigno of late. MSNBC is reporting that he had expressed a desire to do so-called two-a-days, two-a-day rehearsal for this upcoming tour. Uh, we go now to NBC's Michael Oku, who is outside the hospital where all of this took place today. Michael? Brian, good evening. If you didn't read anything about what had happened here, just walking by, you would know that something very serious is happening here at the UCLA Medical Center. Choppers are buzzing overhead. Crowds are assembling all along the streets and the sidewalks here. And the news uh, media has arrived in spades. Uh, I can also tell you that uh, cones have been laid out on the street, those familiar orange cones that are used to redirect traffic. Very clear that something serious happening inside. Again, NBC News confirming that legendary singer Michael Jackson has in fact died of cardiac arrest. Uh, what we are learning at this hour is that uh, fire uh, uh, personnel, uh, that is responders, went to his home at about 12.30 this afternoon in response to a 911 call from that home and found Mr. Jackson reportedly without a pulse. They tried to revive him. They were unable to and rushed him here to the UCLA Medical Center, where again, Brian, I can tell you, while we have not talked to officials here inside on the ground at least, clearly the scene out Outside here, while not one of complete bedlam, very much of a crowd assembling to a very serious news event. Brian? Michael Oku at UCLA Medical Center at this hour. He was a shooting star, Michael Jackson was, in the American pop music scene, including American popular culture as a whole. As we've been reporting, he was hoping for a career comeback, including dozens of sold out shows in London. Now our own Peter Alexander has a look back at the life and times of this very troubled but extraordinary performer. From the beginning, you couldn't take your eyes off him. His older brothers who made up the rest of the Jackson 5 sang and moved. But Michael, the youngest and clearly the prodigy, was the one who moved you. Under the tutelage of producer Quincy Jones, Jackson later evolved as a solo performer, which redefined him for his already adoring public. Fans also saw and seemed to like his unmistakable style, the military costumes, and that sequined glove. Just beat it, beat it. 
His 1982 album Thriller won eight Grammys, made Jackson's moonwalk a signature, and gave him the stature to call on any collaborator he chose. But just as quickly as his star rose, Jackson's eccentricities became more clear, including the changing color of his skin. Jackson also turned a California ranch into a child's fantasy called Neverland. But in 1993, a 13-year-old boy claimed that Jackson had molested him. The case was settled, with Jackson never admitting any guilt. These statements about me are totally false. Jackson was married twice, first to Lisa Marie Presley, Elvis's daughter, and three children after that marriage failed to remove the suspicions fanned by an unquenchable tabloid fire. He fed that fire, too, dangling his baby from a German hotel balcony, testifying woozily in a bizarre court appearance, telling a filmmaker there was nothing wrong with sharing his bedroom with children, including one child who in 2003 made another accusation that a boozy Jackson had molested him, and this time said so on the witness stand. Michael Jackson had become the biggest star with truly international status ever brought to trial on a serious felony charge, but still he was celebrated by a worldwide following and will forever be ranked among the greatest music artists of all time. Peter Alexander, NBC News, New York. Again, if you're just joining us on Nightly News tonight, we're still reacting to this incredible news. The sudden word out of Los Angeles now confirmed by NBC News, Michael Jackson dead at the age of 50. Lester Holt here with us in our studios. Uh, Lester, Peter touched on this aspect of his life, kind of the obvious, and that is the troubles. He virtually uh, changed his entire physical appearance in terms of physical features, skin color. There, there was his private life and on and on. As you were leading in, I was watching the box over your shoulder, picture after picture, and you see it transform right before your eyes. People saw it. People talked about the plastic surgery. Those things they noted, it became kind of, a, well, that Michael's a little weird. Uh, it was only after that, that 2005 child molestation case that I think it all came into a different kind of focus he would then go on to become this re recluse and that's why it was such a big deal when he announced several months ago he was going to do this this comeback concert and try to repair his last album comeback was was an utter flop and at the same time his transformation his contributions to american pop culture from the glove to moonwalking the thriller video comes to mind we we were all talking before the newscast singing the songs and realized we all know the words to these songs brian thriller though i think was the defining album 1982 this album comes out if you remember mtv was just getting off the ground the whole music video thing well he comes out and essentially makes movies of music videos no longer just the performers on a stage strumming their guitar he, he really jump-started the genre. As you mentioned, the, the, the dance, uh, the, the, the moonwalk, the glove, all this. That one album uh, produced seven number one hits. It was an amazing moment for him. Uh, and this is the guy that popped on. We're the same age. Ten year, ten, I remember being a 10-year-old kid watching this 10-year-old kid on TV one night, and it would become this overnight sensation and go on, and we'd continue to watch his career blossom. Say nothing of the fact that he first arrived on our radar as the youngest member, of course, of the, uh, of the Jackson 5. Lester will be talking about this some more. Uh